Hey Virgo, welcome back. Let's get into your weekend love reading. What messages does Virgo need to have? Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the weekend, <clears throat> the holiday weekend, beginning on Thursday the 24th through November 27th. All right, let's take a look and see. Oh, engagement ring. And you have seduction. Okay, let's see. Mirror and the Phoenix. Okay, <laughs> I hope you guys, I'll show you the cards as we go, but you're starting with engagement ring. <laughs> so somebody's, I don't know, um, are coming into union or partnership on Thanksgiving. So there might be, um, or on the 24th, I should say, because I know not all of you celebrate Thanksgiving who are listening. Um, but yeah, there's some type of partnership, completion, union. You might receive a proposal or be giving a proposal. You could be connected, uh, everybody sitting around the table having dinner or at some kind of a party or an event and somebody proposes, which is a very strange time to do that. But I guess with all those witnesses, I suppose it could happen, but it feels like Thursday will be a very engaging time. Okay, let me see here. Okay, King of Pentacles. So for some of you, that's you. Oh, wow. And for others, you're receiving something from a King of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Um, oh my gosh. So, all right, Virgo, I do feel like you're getting some type of proposal or somebody's going to you know, say something to you, you know, let's tie the knot, let's do this, let's get together. And I feel like this person is really stressing about, they're kind of like, um, it's like, what if Virgo says no? Or uh, yeah, there's like a lot of stress. What if Virgo says no, no, Virgo won't say no. Maybe I shouldn't do it. I'm like, there's, but I'll regret it. Or, but what if Virgo refuses this opportunity, refuses this commitment, um, doesn't want the partnership? Okay, what if it's like, there's, there's a lot of anxiety and stress and fear, someone having trouble sleeping at night. Um, there's a fear that things aren't going to change. They're very focused on the negative, um, lot, full of nostalgia, but like, gosh so much remorse that if they don't do this there may be remorse for, for not making something go forward in the past okay virgo taurus capricorn energy this could be you uh, making this offer to someone or you could be receiving it from um, an earth sign okay they don't have to be a sun they could have earth in their chart somewhere all right so i'm seeing definitely okay you may not actually receive the proposal on the 24th but there is somebody here who is wanting to make some type of an offer for a long-term commitment partnership engagement um, to bring you both into union to complete the cycle but there's like a lot of anxiety about that a lot of stress there's fear of rejection there's a fear of maybe this being a missed opportunity or this person um, just kind of like they're, they're up at night and they're at, but they're at rest during the day because they're distracted. But I'm seeing someone who's like up at night, really stressing, and then during the day they're more relaxed because, I don't know, we're going into the holiday season as well. But the nighttime, the nighttime is really getting this person. Maybe you guys used to talk at night. Um, but the nighttime, wow, they're just giving me this really hard. Um, they're up at night thinking about this and so concerned that you're going to refuse or say no, or you're not going to want them. Yeah, or it's you, could be you. All right, wow, that's a crazy message for the 24th. Let's take a look at Friday, 25th. Okay. So you have seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Wow, Knight of Wands energy. Well, that's definitely hooking up. Um, Knight of Pentacles, Peach of Pentacles. 
Wow, okay, Virgo. So Friday night, or Friday day, whenever, um, there's like a... There's going to be some type of <laughs> very flirty, sexy, lusty energy coming to your, towards you on Friday, on the 25th. I'm feeling like someone flirting with you, wanting to get together, temptation, um, trying to interfere. Okay, this might be the same person who is really stressing. They're trying to seal the deal with you. Um, I feel like somebody's actually going to make an offer. You're going to get some kind of offer on the, over this weekend. I could tell you that. I feel like this doesn't feel so some of you might be kind of just like out dating or whatever or doing whatever you're doing in your life um, having fun celebrating partying whatever and then the offer comes in while you're busy doing whatever you're doing look at all this pentacle energy Virgo Virgo Capricorn uh, Taurus here but for a lot of you I do feel like also that this person coming in is going to be coming in with these passions like, um, how can I say this? It could be traveling to see you. Somebody might live in the desert, um, maybe somewhere in the Middle East as well, but I'm feeling like somebody's coming in to like, this person is coming in to seduce you, you know, to like get right in front of you. <laughs> You know, um, it feels like alluring, alluring in energy. There's going to be some communication first, you know, um, very seductive, flirtatious type of communication from this person. And I feel like, um, yeah, I'm just seeing with all this pentacle energy, um, they're just telling me somebody had something made for you or a gift that they're picking up and they want to bring to you that they're going to seduce you with I don't know money or some type of a gift or maybe even a ring something along those lines on Friday um, you may get a message or communication from someone where they tell you they have something for you that they want to share with you or I'm also picking up Sagittarius Pisces um, Libra and here's Gemini Okay, they have a gift, or they have something they want to share for, with you, or something they want to give to you, right? But there's a lot of, like, they want to get together. Like, they're coming on strong, and it may feel like a hookup, but there's actually more behind it. Like, it's kind of a trick. Um, and they're definitely physically crazy about you. I see this energy here, like lusting after you like crazy attracted to you it's insane okay so completely insane um i feel like um this person is trying to seal the deal over this weekend over the, or at least over these holidays this holiday weekend or week season definitely okay let's take a look at saturday so we're going into the weekend here so Mirroring each other, self-image, relationships, reflect our wounds, introspection. Okay. Oh my goodness. Five of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Knight of Swords. Queen of Swords. Wow. Saturday, Saturday looks um Saturday looks harsh, Virgo. Saturday looks like somebody's getting a cutoff. Uh, too much, too much pain. Don't want it. De uh, rejection, leaving somebody out in the cold. Virgo. Um, okay. Now this is going to be. They're giving me two messages here. Some of you are going to reject an offer that's coming in here from someone. That it's just like. It was a very toxic relationship. You mirrored that toxic energy. Um, somebody got out of the relationship and it's like, doesn't want to go back into it, doesn't want to commit because every time you both look at each other, it's like uh, you're seeing your old wounds in each other. There's not enough healing, a ring, marriage, all that is not going to heal it. It's not going to fix it. You know, um, 
you know, you, just because you win that jackpot prize doesn't mean that it's, it's going to make you happy. So for some of you, this is like, no, you're saying no, you don't want this because it's not, it, it feels forced. It feels like, okay, somebody's coming in and they're trying to seal the deal, but they're not coming correct. For some of you, it's like this person leaves you out in the cold or there's abuse or they're controlling or they're, they're lacking affection um, and they're, they could be a bit critical. So some of you are definitely just going to turn it down. Okay. You're turning it down. Others of you, this person who's coming in with this offer is turning somebody else down is getting out of a toxic relationship or something that was very unhealthy. Okay. And they're coming towards you with that offer, but it looks like there might be a conversation sitting face to face and I feel like whoever your person is that's making this um, engagement or proposal or offer to you over the weekend is like done with another person and they will, you know, you'll have to know if they don't tell you, you will have to know that this person just dumped them or um, was abusive or walked away from them or was just a bully or just couldn't communicate, was very aggressive, intimidating, they were um, self-sabotaging, um, that this person was very impatient and impulsive with them, rebellious, um, would talk a whole lot of shit and never say really anything. Um, but was very strong, but just really not for them, not for them. And it looks like there's going to be some kind of conversation on Saturday about a cutoff, about some type of very, look at all this very cold energy right here. I can feel it. Like it's very cold. Okay. Um, the person that they were with, Okay, whoever you're connecting with here over the weekend, their person um, projected blame onto them and everything, and they blame them for everything that was happening when it was actually, you know, the other person who was doing all that stuff, right? So they always say, you know, people accuse you of cheating, it's because they're usually cheating. If people accuse you of lying, it's because they're usually lying, you know, so there's a lot, there was a lot of projection here. All right, so on Sunday, we have the Phoenix. So there's a new phase, a rekindling, a renewal, transformation, growth, and a changed mind. Okay, the Phoenix is rising. All right, a decision is getting made here. Going after the ninth cup, the emperor and strength here. Wow. You know what? The emperor, this is the first major arcana that I've pulled. Actually, the emperor and um, the strength card, the first two major arcana cards that I've pulled throughout this whole reading already. So there might be an Aries or a Leo here on August 4th or April 8th. Okay. So I feel like somebody here is really is coming in with the final decision here that they are moving on this journey with you. They've leveled up. They're coming in correct. Some of you might not give them a chance to see that and turn it down. Um, but you know, you have a decision that you have to make and that's your decision. You know, you, you're either in or you're out, you know, um, make sure you're making the right decision before you go forward. Um, but I feel like, yeah, you too are going to rise. There's going to be a new phase here. So it feels like Sunday a decision will get made to move forward. For others, this is a decision to move away and move on with somebody else, okay? Um, someone that might have a dog <laughs> or a pet. <laughs> so, yeah, I definitely feel like Sunday is a big decision maker day, you know, whether to accept the offer or whether to move on with someone else. But I do feel like this person who's making this offer to you, Virgo, is they're ready. They've reached their limit. They've analyzed the situation. They've been on their journey. Um, they've taken that deep look. 
even during withdrawal. They don't want to be disappointed anymore. They're letting go of past, I want to say past toxic behaviors, but also a past relationship that was toxic. Um, abandoning all those former plans that they had or whatever they were doing. Abandoning abandonment, right? No longer running away that kind of thing and showing up here with that emperor energy, male or female, it, this is beautiful, feminine or masculine. This is someone who comes in extremely stable, structured, like leveled up, coming in correct. Um, someone who has learned their lessons and who has grown up. They have taken all of the elements of the queens and the kings and they have now embraced all of their elements not just one not just fire not just whatever now it's earth water fire and air and they're utilizing all of those elements and that's the full that's the bloody stump that's coming in with the bloody stump that's utilizing all of the elements to work in your favor Okay, and this person is coming up, showing up here with this inner strength and this courage, bravery, confidence. This is somebody who's like tremendously brand new. Libra, Pisces, Aries, Leo. Um, there's three Aquarius cards up here for Saturday and Taurus again. So I don't know, some of you might uh, reject an offer from an Aquarius or that person is rejecting an Aquarius, okay? So there's a really strong energy uh, change happening here over this holiday weekend. Remember, I just did the new moon reading for the 23rd, which was some of you were letting go and getting yourselves free. You should, if that's like your plan, definitely keep that up. Um, there should be, a, uh, I'll leave a card where at the end of this video, if you didn't see it yet, you can definitely check that out because that runs from November 23rd to December 23rd, okay? Some of you, I will say, may just put someone off so you can figure out the following day what you want to do. You may not completely reject an offer. Some of you might delay an offer from someone and kind of say to them, I got to think about it or I'm not sure. So you can try to get clarity you know, what is going on or how you really feel and if you want to accept this new phase or a rekindling of a relationship in your life. So I feel like Friday is really going to be the offer. Friday is going to be like, whoa. Saturday is kind of like, oh, I got to think about this. You don't know. You might be like kind of shell-shocked or frozen a little bit because of it it's it feels unexpected but um sunday i think the decision gets made i think by sunday you're gonna know what you're gonna do all right so i'm gonna leave your reading there virgos i hope that you enjoyed that and i do hope that you have a lovely thanksgiving um, for those of you who celebrate and i will be back here i'm not sure i'll either be back on sunday or monday i'll let you guys know so do keep your eyes and ears peeled for the shorts that i will be uploading throughout this little pre-holiday workout pre-holiday workout why did i say that some of you need to get in your pre-holiday workout <laughs> before you eating all those candy canes all right, you guys, I love you, and I will see you all back here very soon. All right, take care.